Okay, today we take a first look at the Latte Panda. This is the alpha model. It's the upgraded model. If you want to see the specs, go ahead and Google the specs or watch a bunch of videos by ETA Prime where uh, he does a lot of testing on the Latte Panda, uh, the alpha and the regular, I believe. Um, my reason for purchasing the alpha was uh, a bunch of reasons, but mostly I'm switching out my uh, Raspberry Pi for the Latte Panda because Latte Panda is going to run a lot more games, uh, MAME emulation, a lot more emulators. Um, in the future, I'm going to test different emulation like Dolphin, you know, Dreamcast, everything. Uh, but in this video, I'm just going to go over my first impressions. I'm going to go over some physical attributes, some issues I've run into. Uh, I've loaded RetroPie onto Ubuntu. Um, I've loaded Ubuntu onto uh, the Latte Panda, and I put RetroPie uh, on through Ubuntu. I'm trying to do some auto start, uh, running into some issues. Uh, but let's take a first look at the physical attributes, and uh, I'll show you the startup and a couple little things first, and there'll be future videos on this as well. So let's take a look at it real quick. Okay, so here's a first look at the Latte Panda. Uh, right off the bat, you'll notice I have some Wi-Fi adapter and Bluetooth wires hanging off to the side here. I don't have a good place to put them or tape them on. I'm not even really sure where I should. Um, there's just not a lot of good space uh, here to put those. I don't know where they expected us to, but I don't know, maybe a little help there. Uh, they were def they were very difficult to get on. You've got to pop them onto these little connectors here. Um, but they work well once you get them on. Uh, it works very well. Also on the bottom here, you'll notice my uh, NVMe SSD card here. They allow they give you two um, two 2280 connectors, an M2E key and an M2M key, so you can use those for different uh, types of SSD. Now, one of the things also you'll notice I don't have a case. Uh, there's only basically one case, the Titan case that uh, is out there, and I've heard there's some flaws with it, so I'm waiting for a different case to come out. You'll also notice three USB 3.0 ports here. The Raspberry Pi has four. Um, four would be nice. Uh, I could always get an OTG adapter, but I don't want too many things hanging off. But if you have two controllers plugged in, then you only have one for a USB drive or a keyboard or a mouse. Uh, so four would be better, but you can make do. Um, I'm not going to get into all the specs. You should watch ETA uh, Prime. He does a bunch of videos on this, and he is extremely knowledgeable uh, on all this stuff. So uh, look him up, and uh, he can provide some more uh, information if you're interested in that. Now, I'm going to boot this thing up. I'm going to pan up to the TV because I can't sc uh, screen record while it's booting, and it's going to load to Emulation Station. Um, I'll show you how I did that. We'll take a look at it, but I'll also show, show you some of the errors I ran into as well. One of the things I kind of don't like about booting this up is you have to hold this for three seconds. So let's hold it for three seconds. Here's the power button over here. We'll hold it for three seconds and uh, let this thing boot up. Okay, so it boots pretty fast, but I'm going to show you the first issue when I do auto start. You see there on the top left, I have some distortion on my screen. I'm going to switch over to, I'm going to switch over right now to uh, screenshot so you can see this. Okay, so you saw the, the distortion in the upper left. I wanted to show you on the screenshot and the screen record but I had to exit out. And every time I exit out and restart, it doesn't do that distortion. So as you can see right there, it just, it doesn't have it anymore when I open up RetroPie. Um, and all I have to do is when it has that error, go into here and just restart emulation station and it comes up and the distortion is gone. So, that's a slight issue um, only on auto start though. If I just boot to Ubuntu and I start RetroPie 
like this, then I have no issues with that distortion in the upper left. So I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to figure out why the auto start does that. Now there's a couple ways to do the auto start. I do it this way. I've tried all the ways, but there's this startup application here, right down here at the bottom. You can load that by just typing in startup application here and uh, launching it or loading it. Um, and then what you do is simply push add here and you type in emulation station right in this command line. So you can see that if I just hit edit here, I put emulation station. There's also a genome command um, that is a little different and has something to do with uh, keeping it in the X session or something. Uh, I don't know all the details about that, but that's one way to do it. You can also go into go into RetroPie. Let me grab my keyboard here. Uh, actually, yeah, well, let's make it a little easier. You can go to RetroPie Setup. You can go to Configuration Tools, and right here there's an Auto Start Emulation Station Kodi on boot. It's basically the same thing. Um, I've had problems either way trying either one of them. Um, so, any solutions out there, let me know. It, it's almost like it's booting too fast and it causes that distortion for the graphics card. Uh, I can't really figure it out. Um, I, I, I'd rather see if it can just launch RetroPie. I know Emulation Station is in RetroPie, but it seems like it's trying to launch Emulation Station. And uh, when I just launched, re launched RetroPie from the desktop, it doesn't have that uh, um, issue okay so the next issue i had which seems to mostly be resolved is this sound settings here for some reason when i boot up sometimes it switches to headphones and then i have no audio on my games uh, or the desktop really it hasn't been doing it lately but um sometimes it does it i don't know why i don't know if there's a, a better way to kill i tried killing some pulse audio command uh, didn't work 100%, I don't think, because it's done it before, and I don't know why it, when I load up sometimes it switches to headphones. Uh, but easy enough fixed. So, um, so really quick, I, I'm not going to get into too much emulation uh, today, but uh, um, you can see that right now I'm actually recording on the Latte Panda through OBS, and uh, I'll play a game here. We'll launch uh, Killer Instinct because this game is non-playable on, uh, on on the Raspberry Pi. So so. I mean, in actuality, I, I, I'm getting good emulation, but I'm actually recording as well. So, you know, it's 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 pretty powerful if they can record. This game actually gave uh, Mortal Kombat three. It, run for its money at the time. I think it was, I think this game was actually ahead of its time with the fade in and, and fade out of the, of the screen. And a lot of people, um, a lot of people really like that. So anyway, you know, there's a little bit of an audio glitch while I'm recording, but if, if I'm not using OBS, if I'm not using OBS, it runs fine. So. So you can see in that example, um, it's a slight audio glitch while I'm running OBS, but it's not there at all when uh, when I'm not recording uh, with OBS. So you'll notice I was recording in 810 resolution here. I could downscale that and I wouldn't have had any audio glitches. I had minor audio glitches um, with OBS running in the background, nothing significant. Uh, the play was, was, was pretty good. Um, 
the Latte Panda normally does 1080p when you're using RetroPie. Uh, it supposedly can do 4K. I tried it once really quickly and everything was choppy from audio to uh, gameplay. So that was not possible yet. I, I don't know what I was doing wrong or why it couldn't do 4K, um, but we'll see if I can get that going. Um, so anyway, that's a quick look right now. I got a lot of other things to go into here. I just got started on this, um, this Latte Panda and uh, still working out some kinks. So stay tuned and there'll be more on this. Thanks.